the next morning and y'all I apologize for the sound of my voice I literally just woke up and I am super stuffy from digging in all of this pollen out here so I apologize for the sound of my voice just wanted to come out here and take a look and see how my yard is looking it downpoured all night until the wee hours I think the rain started around 2 p.m. yesterday afternoon and it didn't stop until like 3 o'clock this morning so this is my troubled area from here all the way back to my gate um, it normally stays really muddy and just squishy here as you can see the grass does not even fill in here um, usually when I step here with my foot it just sinks completely into the mud so that is not happening so I can tell that the trench is helping also over here I could not even finish my arborvitae hedge because when I dug the holes here it was just standing water in the bottom of the hole so I knew they would have root rot so hopefully when I dig the holes over there there won't be any standing water fingers crossed but let's take a look at what the trench is doing so here is my gutter downspout I have an extension here this is going to be removed and I'm going to start uh, the downspout all the way at the bottom of the gutter so I do need to continue the trench just a little bit further over but you can see there's still standing water in the bottom of the trench here so I think my main course of action over here is going to be a French drain setup and then as I continue along you can see there's less and less water in the bottom of the trench as the grade of the property slopes downward so I think I may be able to switch to just a regular drain pipe I'll see how it dries out throughout the rest of the day but there is still standing water here just because this is where I stopped so the way I dug my trench was I used my spade shovel to dig the initial cutout and then I went back with my flat edge to dig a little bit deeper and widen the trench and also clean out the remainder of the dirt so I still need to finish this part of the run and then continue it out underneath the fence where the new property has been cut down so it's looking pretty good we will see I'll give you guys an update later on in the afternoon when the Sun comes out and it's had some time to dry out some more so stay tuned all right moving on to drainage project number two we are now on the east side of my house in my backyard this is where you first enter my backyard from the front of the house so I actually dug this trench out maybe I think two weeks ago now at this point and this part is pretty shallow so I'm going to deepen this just a little bit I just used my spade shovel to dig the initial trench and then I went back and cleaned it out with my flat edge shovel so I'm going to dig this down a little bit deeper and also continue digging up to the gutter here so that we can bury everything so I'm going to set up the camera let you guys watch the process and then I'll show you what it looks like in the end we've been driving around singing songs way too loud because we wanna Because we wanna, we wanna Yeah, we just wanna have fun The trunk's full of wine We're gonna stay up Have the time of our lives The night is in young Don't need anybody else We came to party all night long And we don't need no chaperone We don't need nobody's attention Yeah, we just wanna dance Of 
All right, y'all. It is 7 in the morning, and I did the same thing again, y'all. I didn't realize that I needed a Y instead of a T, so back here getting the parts that I need to finish this project finally. Ready, Jax? <laughs> All right, so here we go. This is all I needed. Of course, I had to look at all the plants. Ooh. Look at this clematis. Gorgeous. But we did not come here for plants. We came here for parts. So hard, y'all. I always get distracted. Let's do this. Good morning, y'all. I just got back from Lowe's and this is where I left off yesterday before my camera died. I did dig a additional trench here. This is where I'm gonna be putting a catch basin to catch all of the water. And for some reason, y'all, my brain just automatically goes into just dig it and connect it directly, which is not the best way for this to be set up. So I am gonna fill this back in, redig my trench, just like I had to do on the other side. I don't know why I just think of tea for some reason. Um, so that way the water can flow from this direction down and then I can have it going from this direction down so everything is going all in one nice flowing downward direction instead of the water having to come this way and then turn the corner twice. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and redig this. I probably won't film that part just because who wants to see me digging and then I will let y'all watch the remainder of the process. A million people in the crowd, but I only see your face in all the lights. And as the bass keep pounding on me, baby, I really want to make you mine. Where do you think you're going? Mm -mm. Found another one. I'm gonna just leave you be. Go do whatever you need to be doing. No, you about to get thrown in the woods. Let me get my shovel. Found another snake, y'all. And you always ask me, what do I do? I shovel them up and throw them in the woods. Out of my property. y'all so I'm pretty much done with the French drain portion of this drainage system just want to take some time to explain what I did more for my own documentation purposes but I figured I share it with you guys as well um, so here's my gutter and from the bottom of my gutter I attached a extension I did pop in two screws on each side just to make sure it's secured on there nice and tight it doesn't pop off and then from the bottom of that I attached the perforated 
corrugated pipe and I'm not sure if you guys can see through the fabric there but I did pop in a screw right there to make sure that's secured nice and tight as well this pipe that's running across here is my drip system so I made sure to leave that nice and accessible in case I need to change how it's routed all of this will be mulched nice and even so you won't see any of that um, and I will be leveling out this area as well so all of the perforated pipe is wrapped in rock as well as fabric the fabric um, keeps the dirt out of the system it runs all the way down to about here ish um, and you guys did see I attached a Y in here so I did put in a drainage uh, catch basin there that is going to catch all of the water that puddles in this area really bad and then it'll run and flow and attach nicely into this drainage system I did put in screws to secure all of that and then the French drain portion of this stops here so from here all I did was attach solid corrugated pipe there's no slits or holes for water to seep in this part stays pretty dry I mean when it rains it just it dries out perfectly fine this is a pretty steep downward slope from here on out so all I'm gonna do here is just backfill y'all it's super easy I probably won't film that for y'all because I'm just filling in the dirt that I dug out um, at the end of this I will be running this underneath my oh look at the earthworm I'm not sure if y'all can see that floating on camera but there's <laughs> there's a silkworm just floating let's see if I can catch them come here little worm got him can y'all see him let's go take you on the other side of the fence it's so cute y'all I used to play with these when I was a kid <laughs> at daycare um, where I live is a lot of woods I live up in the suburbs oh hold on look at him inching little inchworm okay let's put you on a tree nice and safe away from harm inch your little way Can you make it? Off you go. Hope you have a nice life. Anywho, as I was saying, so from here on out, I will be running the rest of this pipe underneath the fence, and then I'll just be putting a grate to cap it off to make sure there's no critters getting up into the system. So yeah, y'all, I'm just gonna work on backfilling all of this dirt that I dug out back into the trench. Not gonna worry too much about how it looks afterwards just because I do plan on extending all of my garden beds outward so I'm not even gonna bother reseeding the grass that I dug out here this will all be extended shaped nicely formally edged and of course I'll go back in with some nice mulch to make everything look all nice and tidy y'all oh, y'all I just cannot wait to like start planting and make this area look pretty I have so many visions in my head I just cannot wait to start working on that part of it so same thing up here I don't plan on reseeding this at all um, all of this mess will be covered up this actually will be a pathway leading in from my gate so all of that will be covered I will come in with just a little bit of topsoil just to level everything off because I do have a bit of a swale happening here but yeah y'all so excited to make this area look nice and pretty just to give you guys an idea on costs I know I got a lot of questions about that on my last video um, I saved a ton of money doing this myself y'all this is not a hard project at all like the hardest part is just digging out the trench and I have North Carolina clay if it's wet and muddy it's pretty easy to dig so <laughs> Yeah, I did have a couple companies come out and give me quotes and just to do this one side, just this one trench, because y'all know I did the other side of my house as well. Just this side, they quoted me 2,500. And y'all can go price the stuff from Lowe's, but just to give you an idea, the little parts, like each little curve and connector piece, those range anywhere from like three bucks to maybe like $14. Um, and then this, like perforated sections that I added here those were 20 bucks a piece I only got two of them and then I just bought one big roll of the corrugated pipe which was about a hundred bucks so y'all can do the math 2500 versus what I pieced together definitely a lot of savings so just wanted to share that with you guys this was definitely not a how-to video or a tutorial I am by no means an expert on drainage I just like to do my research so if you guys are interested in learning more about when a French drain is needed or how to bury your downspouts 
definitely check out YouTube. There's a ton of educational step-by-step -step videos. That's what I did. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you learned something from it. I hope you found it inspirational. If you did, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. Like the video, leave me a comment, subscribe if you're interested in seeing more from me. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.